Australian Food Safety Information Council, Wikipedia article audio. The Australian Food Safety Information Council is a health promotion charity. The council develops consumer-targeted food safety information to address the estimated 4.1 million cases of food poisoning in Australia each year that result in 31,920 hospitalizations, 86 deaths, and 1 million visits to doctors on average every year. The Council was founded in 1997 as the Food Safety Campaign Group and incorporated in 1999 as the Food Safety Information Council. It is supported by state and territory health and food safety agencies, local government, and leading professional, industry and community organizations. History and Governance Activities the council chair is Rachel Williams who was appointed in July 2015 Previous chairs have been Professor Michael Isles who was appointed in August 2007, his predecessor was Professor Tom McMeekin A.O. The Food Safety Information Council provides consumer information on the handling, storage, and preparation of food. They organize Australian Food Safety Week held during the second week of November each year. The Council also has a role in providing consumer advice on food recalls and emergencies such as the Frozen Berries Hepatitis A recall in February 2015. They also take part in education events such as 2015 World Health Day which focused on food safety. As part of its educational activities, the Food Safety Information Council has carried out consumer research into food safety knowledge. It also publicizes the results of food-related research. For example, a study by the Australian National University, published in November 2014, found in 2010 that there were an estimated 4.1 million cases of foodborne disease acquired in Australia on average each year, along with 5,140 cases of non-gastrointestinal illness. The main causes were norovirus, pathogenic Escherichia coli, Campylobacter species, and non-typhoidal Salmonella species although the causes of approximately 80% of illnesses were unknown. A question and answer fact sheet published by the Australian Department of Health together with this study references the Food Safety Information Council's consumer advice as a means of reducing foodborne disease. Most foodborne disease outbreaks in Australia have been linked to raw or minimally cooked eggs or poultry. The Food Safety Information Council estimates that one-third of cases of food poisoning occur in the home. A 2007 study found that 97 per centre of Australians know that washing their hands before handling food is essential, this compared with 54 per centre who didn't wash their hands in 1997 a 43 per centre improvement. Research Topics and Education A 2012 chicken meat study found 60% of home cooks were at risk of food poisoning by washing whole poultry before it was cooked, which can spread bacteria around the kitchen. A further 16% of those surveyed incorrectly tasted chicken to see if it was cooked properly rather than using a safe meat thermometer. A 2013 labeling survey found just over half of those surveyed always read and comply with use by dates and less than half always read and comply with best before dates. Only a third of people always read and comply with storage instructions and a meager 14% always read and comply with cooking instructions. Hand washing a 2012 lunchbox survey found almost 80 per center of adults take a packed lunch to work, yet many fail to make sure it's kept cool. About 17 per center admitted they made no effort to put their lunch in a fridge at work, and 29 per center don't put them in coolers even if they're working outside. 
An October 2015 National Australian Survey by Omni Poll for Australian Food Safety Week found that 71% of those Australians surveyed blamed pasteurised milk for food poisoning while 83% identified raw egg dishes as a problem and 12% even considered raw egg dishes unlikely to be a risk. The survey found that most people correctly recognized that chicken, minced meat, and seafood were food poisoning risks if not handled properly. An October 2016 National Australian Survey by Omni Poll for Australian Food Safety Week 2017 showed that 70% of those surveyed reported that they didn't know the safe cooking temperature for foods high-risk foods such as hamburgers, sausages, and poultry. Of those that reported they did know the correct temperature, most were wrong with 15% saying below the safe temperature of 75 degrees Celsius and 9% stating it should be 100 degrees Celsius or more. Chicken Date marking and cooking slash storage instructions Lunch boxes Food safety risks Cooking temperatures for riskier foods